Okay, good. So then good morning to everybody again. Let me start the presentation on doctors and dentists and how you can work in Germany. I will try to explain all the steps to you and we'll be looking at the questions afterwards. Okay, so as I said, the program is for doctors and dentists. I hope that I remember to say it every time. If not, whatever I say for doctors is for dentists alike. Okay, so we at ISL have a special program together with the government and with the European Union that has a special fund for helping you to get your degree recognized here in Germany. So this is only for people who are a qualified doctor or dentist already, not if you want to study medicine in Germany, that is different. So this is only for people who have a degree already, we help you to get it recognized. You don't need to worry about taking down the email here now, you will all get an email from me later, to which you then can reply with questions. So, as you can see here, the, the skilled workforce in the medical area is really, really in big demand in Germany. And that is not only because of the Corona, even though that of course has made it worse because a lot of people are leaving their jobs, but it has always been a problem here. Uh, mainly because of the decreasing population that we have in Germany. And of course, because people are getting older. So while people get older and need more medical treatment, at the same time, we have less young people starting their job in the medical area, be that doctors or nurses. And while at the moment, and with at the moment, this, this statistics is from last year already, but it's still valid. While at the moment, we still have a bigger demand for nurses, the demand for doctors is there as well, and it's getting bigger and bigger because as a doctor in Germany, you are actually only allowed to work until the age of 70. After that, even if you're still fit and want to work, you cannot work anymore as a, as a doctor being recognized or paid by the German government. So then people have to retire. And that wave of doctors going into retirement is going to hit Germany in the next few years. And then all of the areas that are still yellow now, which says insufficient workforce, will then have a big lack of workforce as well. Yeah? So, which means if you make a move now or get ready to make a move now, by the time you're ready, there will definitely be a demand for you. And here you can see the average number of patients per doctor. So one doctor has to treat an awful lot of patients already. Yeah? And that, as I said, is becoming more. And of course, the young people tend to live in the cities or they want to live in the cities, which means in the big cities, we don't have such a big demand. But on the countryside, there is an even bigger need for doctors wanting to set up their practice there and work there. And you can see that, for example, if you look at Berlin, you have only have 159 patients for a doctor. But then if you go around Brandenburg, which is just the, the area around Berlin, you have 100 more per doctor already. So you can see the biggest demand is in the countryside, not in the big cities. You have the same if you look at Hamburg or Bremen, the two small city states up there, very, very low number of patients per doctor compared to the people around it. So what does it take for you to come here? I will focus on the people who studied outside of the EU, because that's the majority of you, but you will see for when you have a degree from inside the EU, it's even easier. So for you having a medical degree, and again, for doctors or dentists, yeah, uh, having a medical degree from outside the EU, you would, need to, you would need the following. You need a successfully completed degree, you need to have a one year internship. Now that is really, really important. Without that internship, the best degree doesn't work. The Germans have a system where as part of your university degree, you have to do a one year internship in a hospital. And that is required for doctors that come from outside the EU as well. Now I know that in some countries it is the same as in Germany, i.e. you have this as part of your degree. In other countries, it's not part of the degree, then you have to do it afterwards. 
But without this one year of practical internship, your degree cannot get recognized here. Then the third thing you need is you need to be registered with the medical council in your home country or in your country of residence, of course. Yeah. So if you are an Indian working in Bahrain or somewhere, doesn't matter, or in Malaysia, then you can also be registered with the medical council in the country of your residence now. Once you have those three things, you are qualified to join the program. That means you can come to Germany, you can get your degree recognized here, you can learn the language, of course, yeah, that's what you will be doing in the building that you can see behind me, and then you can work as a doctor in Germany. The language is, of course, the crucial part, because you need to be talking to patients, we come to that in a minute. First, we continue looking at the, um, the career steps you have to take. So, once you have those three things, then you're qualified. We need a few more things to, to uh, process your documents, but with those three things, you are qualified. The steps then would be the following. With all the documents, we get a translation done here in Germany. That is important that you can get the translation money refunded later. Then we apply for a so-called professional license. Some people call it deficit letter. Some people call it recognition of the degree. It doesn't really matter what you want to call it. It's a piece of paper that comes from the medical council here in Germany, which allows you to work here in Germany towards your approbation. And that process takes a few steps. The first step is that you learn German and you have to learn German up to a very high level because your colleagues will talk German, the nurses you'll work with will talk German, and of course, the patients. Remember I told you the patients here are getting older and older and your average old age pensioner here in Germany, be that 60 or 80 years of age, they never really learned English at school. Yeah? So the only way of, communicate, of, of communicating with them is in German. As a first step, you need to pass a so-called B2 level. That is equivalent to 900 hours. We'll look at that again in a minute. Once you have this B2 exam, then we can register you for a special medical German exam. You then continue up to the C1 level, which is another 300 hours. Once you pass the C1 level general German, which is, by the way, the exact same level that people need to want to study here in Germany. So it's, it's a very fluent, very high level. It's almost native speaker like, not in terms of like getting every single article and ending right, but in terms of communication skills. Yeah. So once you have to see one level exam passed, then you can start the medical German exam preparation course. This is a course specially for medical staff. At the end of the, another 10 weeks, you then have the medical German exam. And then your German is good enough to work here. This whole process up to there takes about one year. So you have one year where you just learn the language. And now you can go back being a doctor or a dentist. Because as soon as you have this medical German test, then you go to a hospital and you start working as an assistant doctor. As an assistant doctor, you have to go through various departments. If you happen to have a specialization already, this step is almost like a step backwards for you. You cannot work on your specialization subject yet. You have to go through the different departments. Whenever you are a supervisor, the head doctor, things that you are ready to take the approbation exam for which you have a maximum of two years then you register for this approbation exam then you take the approbation exam and then you are a fully qualified doctor in germany with the same exam the same rights the same duties the same everything as somebody who did the medical course here in a german university at that point you can decide to continue working in a hospital. You can start working with somebody in a private practice. This is totally up to you. 
And at that point, if you had a specialization before you came already, you can then start working on getting your specialization recognized. If you didn't have a specialization yet and you want to do that, then a few years after you start working as a general doctor, you can then start working on your specialization. The specialization in Germany is not dropping out of work and going back to university. This is something that is done in parallel. Okay, so very briefly again, B2 first, then you register for the exam. We do that for you, but I say you register. Then you continue learning to C1. Once you have the C1 level, you can start the German medical exam preparation. Then another 10 weeks later, you take this German medical exam. Then you can start working as an assistant doctor. Okay, now we, of course, Check your documents before you start anything. Yeah? Then I said already, we get them translated. That whole process takes a little bit of time also to get this professional license. At the moment, this process is very popular again. And we are at the moment, unfortunately, at a waiting time of eight to 10 weeks to get this license, which means during this time, you can start learning German already. Because in some of the countries that you come from, the embassies even expect you to use that time, which means at the time of applying for the visa, you should have a little bit of German already. You can do that locally or you can do it online with us. So once you have that license, we help you to get ready for the visa appointment. We check the documents, we prepare you for the interview. You, we make sure that you're prepared. Then you come here, and then when you are here, we get the government funding organized because of all of these German courses that I mentioned, you only need to pay the first levels up to B1 yourself. The rest is paid by the government. So that is all organized when you are here. And you also get a refund of the translation cost then. Then, as I said already, you learn the German, you start working in the hospital. So the other documents that we need later, and again, you don't need to worry about it. I, I can send you a list of all of that, but just so that you know what you will need to have at some stage is also your birth cert, your CV, a certificate of good standing and a police clearance certificate. Those last two documents, you can of course only get at a later stage because they need to be relatively new, which is why the initial checking an application is done on the other documents that were your degree, your internship, and the license with the medical counselor. So what is this famous medical German exam about? It sounds more complicated and worse than it is in reality. All of the doctors that have gone through that uh, said that this is actually easier than the general German exam, because this is something that you're working with and that you're familiar with. There is, of course, one part of the exam where you need to know the special medical terms, and they are usually Latin words. Yeah? So you need to know the body names in the medical terms. Then the two big, the two big parts of the exams are a doctor-patient conversation, where they are checking that you can use easy language to talk to a patient, to explain a treatment, to explain a diagnosis, so that normal people can understand. And then of course, you also have a doctor-doctor conversation where you are checked if you know the specialist terms as well, and that you can have a high level academic conversation with another doctor using all the specialist terms where we as normal patients don't have a clue what you're actually talking about then. Yeah? So it's kind of the, the secret language of the doctors. Those are the two main parts. Once you have that, I said, you can go and work as an assistant doctor. And as you may be happy to hear now, as this assistant doctor, of course, you will be earning money. Yeah? So the only period of time that you have without an income is this one year language preparation or almost one year. As an assistant doctor, you will be earning about 4,500 euro per month. You then have a normal work contract here, which means you are paying your taxes, you have a work permit, you can live here, you can buy a house, a car, whatever you want. At that point, it's also easy to bring your family, because I know there is always some people there that ask about family. 
Before that, during the language part, it is difficult. It depends a little bit on where you're from and on the circumstances of your family, but it's very difficult. Yeah? Once you earn money, it's of course a lot easier. So 4,500 euro you get for the time of the assistant doctor, as I said, maximum two years, then you need to take the approbation uh, exam. So, and now I mentioned already the financial support. Since we need doctors here, the government is funding this or helping you to finance this, which means you only need to pay the language for A1, A2 and B1. That is a cost of 3,600 euro. The rest, which is the B2, the C1, the medical German, and all of the exams, i.e. the B2 exam, the C1 exam, and the special medical German exam, that is all paid by the government. So that ends up being 60% of the cost is paid by the German government. And here you need to be careful now. Rheinland-Pfalz, which is the country, Germany has a lot of states, yeah. Um, Rheinland-Pfalz, which is the one where Koblenz is, is the only state or county in Germany where this is paid. So this program only works in Rheinland-Pfalz. That means for the first two years or almost three years, um, you will need to stay in Rheinland-Pfalz to make sure that you get this funding. After the approbation, you can go wherever you want in Germany. But since Rheinland-Pfalz is paying for this, they in return want you to at least spend the two years of assistant doctor in Rheinland-Pfalz. Very fair deal. They pay a lot of money. You can work here. You get the same money anyway. So as I said, this is paid by the government. You pay A1, A2, and B1 only. Also, the translation cost is refunded, okay? Now, the application for that or the registration for that is done as soon as you come to Germany, but there's a 100% guarantee that you get it, so you don't need to worry about it. Okay, what is not covered by the government is your living expenses in that year, and that is why it's difficult to bring your family as well. Since you are not earning any money, you are expected to have enough money up front to pay your living expenses for that year. For that, you need to have a so-called block account. That's an account in your name here in Germany with 10,332 euro in it. Every month, you can take 861 out of this to pay your food, your rent, your clothes, your party, whatever. If you want to bring family, of course, you need that money for everybody. Later on, when you earn money as an assistant doctor and you want to bring your family, you don't need it anymore. So that alone, it's kind of making it difficult. The visa you come on is a very special visa called Visa for Recognition of a Foreign Degree. And that visa allows you to learn the language here, to do all of the exams, to start working as an assistant doctor and to take the um, uh, approbation exam. After that, the visa changes to a normal work visa, and two years later, you will also get a permanent residence, okay? To get this visa, you need this acceptance letter from the German government, which we organize for you. You need the acceptance letter for the language course, which you, of course, get from us. You need proof of accommodation. You also get from us. We have fully furnished, fully serviced apartments, and you need this block account. Also, we organize the health insurance for you. The only thing you really need to do yourself is write a motivation letter and a CV because I cannot write your motivation, okay? So looking at the language again, we have the steps from A1 to A2, B1, B2, C1. The A1 and the A2, they are the basic levels. And that is something that you can easily learn either at home or online with us. We offer those courses regularly, i.e. every five weeks, because one level takes five weeks. So throughout the whole year, you can join this course whenever you're ready to make a move. And you see here the 900 for A1, the 900 for A2, and the 1,800 for B1 is the only thing that you need to pay the rest, which is the B2, the C1, 
and the preparation course for the medical exam, that is all paid by the German government. And to reach the C1, you have the total of 1,200 lessons. You then have another 200 for this medical German exam, giving you almost a year, i.e. 50 weeks. Yeah? If you add the weeks there, then you get to 50 weeks, which is one year, and then you can start working. So as I said already, we are in Rheinland-Pfalz in a city called Koblenz. You can see there are two rivers that meet there. It's the Rhine and the Moselle. And that corner that you can see there is very famous. That's why it's called the German corner because two rivers meet there. It's a very nice city. It's nice and small. It's only about 100,000 people, which means you can easily walk everywhere. Logistically, it's easy to reach. We're only an hour away from Frankfurt airport. Um, has 100,000 people, as I said, but it's good as a doctor because there are lots and lots of hospitals there. So in and around Koblenz, we have 15 hospitals. Amongst that, we have the University Clinic of Mainz, which is as being a university clinic, the biggest one in Rheinland-Pfalz because it's the teaching hospital for the main university. And in Koblenz, you have the military hospital. Now, military hospital does not mean that it's only for military staff being treated there, but it's run by the military. But every patient can go there. This is the biggest and the best equipped hospital in all of Germany, because, you know, being the military, they, of course, get the best equipment and the best everything. So this is a very, very popular hospital to do your training in or to work there. Okay, I did say already that we have the fully furnished apartments. They have bed linen, towels, pots, plates, washing machine, everything you need. Cleaning service, they are only two to 10 minute walk from the school. And we have not only the doctors that come to us to learn the language, but also students who want to go to university. So between the doctors and the students, we have around 250 people that come to us every year to learn the language up to C1 and to do the doctor's exam. The, they are all run in our building. We are licensed test center for all of the tests. So everything can be done here. And the Medical Council of Rheinland-Pfalz is in Koblenz as well, which means if there's a problem with your documents or if you need something, it's a five minute walk around the corner. So it's very easy and you, everything can be organized there. As I said, we start a course every five weeks that applies online and on site, which means as soon as you have your visa, you can then also travel very soon and continue your course here in Germany. So that was my presentation, which was a bit longer than I expected, but I hope I could give you a good overview. And I can see I have the first questions there already, which means we will now look at the questions. Okay. How can you get a visa? Okay, um, sorry if that was not clear. You send us the documents, the list which I had in the slides and which I sent to you later. Once we have those documents, we get this medical license, the deficit letter, the recognition, whatever you wanna call it. Together with that letter from the medical council and the confirmation for the language course, you get that sent to you from us and with that you can apply for the visa okay is there a guarantee to get a visa no of course i cannot guarantee you that you get a visa because the visas are issued by the embassy however we haven't had a single visa rejection for doctors um, in the last few last two years yeah before that when it when the program wasn't so well known then yes there were a few rejections basically as long as you're prepared and as long as you have the right documents there is no reason to kind of um, reject the visa the total cost again as i said um, you pay 3600 for the german course and then of course you also need to have the block account so basically the total cost is the block account, which is the 10,300 plus the German course, okay? The rest is paid by the government. Is there an age requirement? Um, uh, age requirement to me kind of sounds like a minimal age, but I guess you mean maximum age. Anyway, there is no minimum age as long as you have your degree. 
there is no real maximum age either. The only difference is if you are over 45, um, then you cannot join the German pension contribution system anymore. German pension contribution system is you pay a part of your salary into the German pension system. And then when you retire, you get paid by the German government. Once you're over 45, you cannot join that anymore because then the time for when you pay in will be too short, which means you need your own private pension fund for later. That can be property or shares or life insurance or whatever. As long as you have that, then there is no real age limit. Uh, the workload, now yeah, <laughs> the workload. A, a full-time job in Germany is 40 hours. If that is too much for you, then you can of course work part-time, yeah? How much you do in that 40 hours uh, is pretty much up to you. But if you stand around pretending to be busy or not doing anything, then you may not have the job for much longer. So, um, you know, bit of common sense. Uh, the workflow for foreign trained dentists and cost. I think I explained that in the, in the presentation, yeah? So after taking the language exam and passing the approbation exam and start working, uh, does this give the German national? Yes, yes, you can also get a German passport. Uh, once you start working here, two years after you start working, you get a permanent residence. After another five years, you can get a German passport as well. Then you will have to take a little um, um, test called Leben in Deutschland, living in Germany. Um, where they test that, you know, how the election system works and what a democracy is and that women have the same rights as men and that you're not allowed hitting your wife or your children or your husband or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah that, that was a bit of an extreme, but there are certain questions and then you will get your passport as well. Uh, what about the cost for center in order to prepare everything, including bank account? Okay. We don't really uh, get any extra, extra fees. We earn the money from you doing the language course. There is, however, a 400 euro fee to get the recognition letter because I need to pay the government to evaluate your documents and issue that um, letter. And um, we keep a 50 euro of that 400 as well to send you the documents. Other than that, there is no other fee that we charge, okay? Uh, we have the language course and that's how we get the money. You need insurance. Yes, yes, that's what I mentioned. But this is a very simple process. We book the insurance for you. You get a confirmation and you pay that every month out of your block account. While you are a language student, then it's very cheap, which means you only pay 50 euro a month for full health insurance, accident insurance and liability insurance. When you start working, you will be paying according to your salary. That is a typical German thing. Yeah? Everybody gets the same treatment when you get sick and everybody pays what they can afford. So the medical insurance is 12% of your salary. You pay half of that, the employer pays the other half. Yeah? So once you start working, it obviously gets more expensive. The more you earn, the more you pay. Um, there is, however, uh, an upper limit. Uh, it's never charged for more than on 6,000 something that that number changes every year a little bit. Yeah. So then they stop it. Yeah. So even if you earn 8,000 at some stage, you'll only be paying the 12% the on the 6,000 something. Okay. Uh, can you show us again the email address? Uh, I will send you an email to um, the email that you registered with after we are finished here, but just in case people didn't register with their right email, which happens sometimes um, because they don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm not gonna send you advertising. I just put it in the chat for you again, okay? So is it mandatory to open the bank account if I have a personal rules? Yes, um, that is correct. If you have a German person that earns enough money to support you, then they can give a personal guarantee for you. Then you don't need a bank account. They would need to sort that out with their local um, 
um, registry office. Yeah. So you, if you send me an email on that, I can explain to you further because you're probably the only one that has that. So somebody is a bit confused. Sorry. Should I start taking German language? Uh, then start applying for the work role. Okay. No, the whole thing basically starts simultaneously. Yeah. First, we get your documents. Then you start learning German in parallel to us organizing the medical license for you. Because remember, I told you at the moment, this takes about eight to 10 weeks. So this is exactly the about 10 weeks that you need for an A2 as well. So the learning German goes in parallel to applying for the license so that when you have the license, you will also be finished with the A2 and then you can go and apply for the visa. The rest can then be done here in Germany. Uh, can I already take a one to while I'm still not sure of applying? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, everybody is free to join the courses even before, but if you, if you learn up to B1 now, and then in three months you decide to start the process, then you have this waiting time with nothing really to do. Yeah. So you need to make sure that in that time you then forget, you don't forget all the German again. So yes, of course you can, but you have to see how much sense that makes. Uh, you already, ah, if somebody has an aid, has some German already, then of course we assess that and you can start at whatever level you are. Yeah. So this person here, there's no name given, apparently has an A2 already, which means you don't need to do the A1, you don't need to do the A2, you only do the B1, then of course you only pay the 1,800 as well. That is clear, yeah? Um, don't worry, I'm not putting somebody who has German already into a beginner's class, yeah? That's kind of torture for everybody, most for the teacher, because it's difficult to keep these people happy then when they think they know everything and the others get totally frustrated, yeah? So we, if somebody has German, we assess that and then you are put in an appropriate course according to your level, of course. Uh, he has to be German to cover me. Uh, no, for the, for the guarantee letter, the person doesn't have to be German. The person just has to be in Germany and needs to have an income. Yeah? It's not necessary to be German for that. Anybody living here can do that. Even Germany has a lot of um, people that are not German that live here, okay? Good, uh, do dentists pay income tax? Of course, everybody that earns money in Germany pays income tax because this income tax will then pay the next doctors again, yeah? This income tax will also pay the school for your children if you ever have some uh, because education in Germany is totally free, yeah? So, Everybody that earns money pays tax, yes. Uh, a timeline to send our requirements. You can send that the whole year round, yeah? As soon as we have your documents, we evaluate it, we get back to you, we tell you what, you, what we still need. And after that, as soon as we have the 400 euro and the translation done, then we can apply for the license. At the moment, this takes eight to 10 weeks. Last year, when there weren't so many applying because of Corona and the, the embassies being closed, we got it in two weeks. Yeah, but we have also had times when we had to take wait twelve weeks, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah, uh, the dentists and the doctors take the same German medical exam. Yes, um, the it's just the focus on the conversation is obviously a different one for a doctor as for a dentist, yeah? Because this is orally, whoever does the exam from the government will have a dentist-based conversation or a general doctor-based conversation. But the format and everything is exactly the same. Okay, good. Um, I'm very sorry, somebody told me there very early that the voice quality is very bad. Um, not sure who that was. If you send me an email and if you weren't able to understand, you send me an email and I try to get a recording to you. Is it better to start German language from home country or learn German in Germany? You will have no option but to start at home because all of the embassies around the world expect a little bit of German. Some are happy with A1, some are happy with A2, 
and some even want the B1 done at home, yeah? So it depends a little bit where you are from. But minimum A2, you will have to do from home because the A1 is a minimum requirement in every embassy, which is why we do the courses A1, A2, and B1 online and on site. As of B2, we only do them on site, yeah? The higher levels do not work online anymore because you need speaking practice. So the good thing is if you learn up to B1 at home, the B1 class that we have is a so-called hybrid class, which means we have some people in the classroom and some people still at home. Your connectors through the microphone and the camera. And when you come, you know your classmates already. So that, that is a very nice system. A lot of people have told me that they like that when they come here and they know their classmates already. Okay, so that was as far as I can see all of the questions. Yes, okay, good. Then um, I would like to thank you very much for joining me this morning, for asking the questions. At nine o'clock in Germany, which is in about 20 minutes from now, I'll have your emails available on the Zoom system. And then I will send you a short summary and then you will also have my email, okay? For everybody that didn't register with the right email, it is Annette, my name, at isl minus or hyphen sprachschule.de. I put it in the chat there for you. Okay, good. Then I'd like to say thank you again, and I hope to hear from you and to see some of you in Germany sometime soon. Thank you, and bye-bye.